braze, we need brazing rod. Now we can either use a bare bronze rod or a flux covered rod. Now this is the flux covered brazing rod and this is the bare bronze. Now if we're going to use bare bronze rod, we need to heat this up and then we'll stick it into a powdered flux. Now, if you're using the bare bronze rod, we're going to warm this end of the rod up. And then we're going to stick it in flux and the flux will stick to it. Come down here, warm the material to be braised up to red hot. Start brazing. The flux is gone. Come back and get some more. Exact same process. It's using the flux covered rod except that we have to dip it. Now this method here tends to put a lot more flux on the rod than what's on a flux covered rod. Now the brazing rod, what we're using here is 330 seconds. And that's pretty standard for brazing. Now if you're going to braze very heavy material, then you're going to want to go up to 1 8 or even up to 3 16 But for most brazing, 3 32nd will do the job. And this rod comes in 36 inch lengths. The point about brazing With the flux, you do need flux to braze, but since I use all new material, I don't need this much flux because the flux is basically cleaning the material. If I was doing something rusty or some old metal, then I would keep the flux on here, but I'm, not, but I'm using all new material, so I don't need this much flux. So what I do is I scrape the flux off but I don't scrape it all off. There's still a little bit left on there. Now, the problem with using the bare rod is that you saw when I dipped it, see I get a big glob, way too much. Now, we'll go one step further, and one of the reasons for this is this piece right here. Now this piece I brazed and left the flux on it. Didn't clean it off. Now once I finish with most of my pieces, I spray them with a clear lacquer, clear protective coating. Now if there's any flux left on, and the flux will leave kind of a glassy surface, so I make sure all the flux is off. But in this case I left it on. Then I sprayed it with a clear lacquer. And you can see these little white dots, almost looks like powdered sugar. Well, in a few days after spraying, that flux beneath the, the clear lacquer crystallizes and it will just pop up through. And you can imagine, if you've got all this flux all over the place, how bad that looks. So, that's why I do not use much flux. Plus the fact when I finish with anything, even though I haven't used much flux, I'll wire brush it to make sure that there's no residual flux on there. One of the reasons that I've spent so much time on the flux and cleaning off the flux is because the goal here is to produce pieces that are showroom quality, that you'd be pleased to have in a gallery or somebody's home or office. So it's really important that we get all this flux off and we get this piece finished, all cleaned up, everything, so that we end up with a piece that is showroom quality.